Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today I'm doing my first video on Batwoman. I'm doing Arrowverse, Batwoman, first video talking about it. So CW is doing like their CW upfront thing where they go around and release a bunch of news and do press conferences and talk about the upcoming shows and schedules and slate. Batwoman's getting her synopsis revealed, which they did that a while ago. Batwoman's getting her plot, cast, all that stuff revealed and uh, kind of, I think, schedule. I know I'm going to be doing Batwoman videos because something has to replace Arrow in my slate. So I'm pretty excited for Batwoman. I did like her in the crossover. If you guys liked her in the crossover, drop a like down below, get subscribed. More Batwoman videos to come soon. My sound probably sounds terrible. I'm sorry if this is the first time you ever heard me, my sound, or see my videos. My sound sounds terrible. It's early. It just dropped my kids off at school. I didn't bring my sound boards in. I just got a notification about the bad woman. So we jump in front of the camera. Let me record this before I go to work. So excuse the sound here a little bit, but um, yeah, they released a couple promo images. They released one of Kate Kane in front of her motorcycle in the middle of the street and got them. Not going to get too much into that. She has a different hairstyle though from the crossover. Not going to get too much into that. That's her in front of a motorcycle. But the big image we need to get to is the bat suit. So we finally got the bat suit in the CW and the Arrowverse. And this is huge because it took them six seasons of Arrow just to acknowledge Bruce Wayne. So this is big to me because we've always wanted Batman in the Arrowverse. We got, we finally got Superman. We finally got Supes and I think it was Supergirl season two. And I'm like, okay, they got Supes now. Let's do Batman. I think they didn't want to do Batman, the CWWB because of Gotham and now you got Titans and stuff like that. So other more Batman centric shows is where they wanted to have Batman. And since it's Arrowverse the CW never had a Batman centric show. They never really felt the need of bringing Batman in until now. Now we have a Batman kind of centric show. The talk of the town is, you know, the like from the synopsis is Batman has gone gone missing. He's mysteriously vanished. Gotham needs a new vigilante because the Canes, or I think Kate Kane's dad and his like squad is trying to protect Gotham. And obviously it's corrupt, so I think he's going to be one of the villains. Her and Luke Fox, who becomes Batwing later, if you guys know the comics, Lucius Fox's son, they suit up and try to be the vigilantes and help Gotham after Batman mysteriously vanished. But the suit, though, suit looks dope. I like it. I really do like it. We just got the Gotham suit reveal, and not a lot of, it was like split. Not, not a lot of people liked it, but they hear some people said it was cool looking, but some people were saying cosplay suits looked better, like the cos cosplayers had better suits, which I agree. The suit to me looked dope. And then you got like the frame of his artifacts and his gadgets and stuff, batarangs, the grapple gun, you got his bat shotgun, he probably put stun bullets in there, stun pellets and stuff, and his rope and all kind of crazy stuff next to his suit, so obviously it's a memorial for Batman in his bat cave, it's like, uh, you know, his suit and stuff like that and all his gadgets right next to his Pretty cool to see, actually. First time seeing it in the Arrowverse. That image got me juiced a little bit. But I know they're not going to show Batman in the Arrowverse. No, they're not going to show him suited up, fighting side by side with Kate Kane because he vanished. Now, hopefully, we do get some flashbacks of Batman and what happened to him. But I think they're going with the Christian Bale storyline. This is the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy storyline as an easy way out not to have Batman on the show. Because if you remember the end of that movie, when he saved the city from the bomb and the city thought he died, but he disappeared to have his happy life after Batman and ran into Alfred in Paris or France or something like that. I think that's what they're doing with this Batman. Batman probably saved the city from a big threat. They're probably going to talk about it. And then he vanished, so he left to have his happy life. And that's why this leaves the reins over to Batwoman. Well, I think they're going to go with that storyline of Batman. They're not going to show him in present day. That's why I'm hoping we get a little flashback of him. But you never know with the CW. I don't think we're going to see someone in a bat suit until they see how the series does. Until it gets to like a season two, maybe season three, if you ask me. But I know they're going with the Christian Bale storyline of he disappeared. And that's what they're going to go with. Not that he died or he retired or he stopped being Batman. But that he disappeared. I know that's what they're going with. That's my theory. I don't think they're going to show Batman in this first season. If they do, obviously I'm going to do a video for it and I'm going to be excited. Get subscribed to see that if they do drop a Batman little teaser, little flashback, something like that. But I doubt they're going to do that. I think the CW and WB wants to see how the show does first and maybe bring in like a Batman flashback or something like that later on in like season two or three. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what your guys' Batman theories are for the CW. I just wanted to jump in front of the camera and do this video real quick. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. This is MBDC. Peace.